definition of simultaneity. If there is a clock at the point A of space, then an observer located at A can evaluate the time of the events in an imminent vicinity of A by finding a clock and position that are simultaneous with these events. If there is also a clock at point B, we should also add a clock of exactly the same constitution that at, at A. Then the time of the events in the immediate vicinity of B can likewise be evaluated by an observer located at B. But it is not possible to compare the time of an event at A with one at B without further stipulation. Thus far, we have only defined an A time and a B time, but not a time common to A and B. The latter can now be determined by establishing by definition that the time needed for the light to travel from A to B equal to the time it needs to travel from B to A. For suppose a ray of light leaves from A toward B at A time, the A is reflected from B toward A at B time, the B, and arrives back at A at A time, the A. Prima. The two clocks are synchronous by definition. F T B minus T A equals uh, T A prima minus T B. of synchronism to be free of contradiction and to be so for arbitrarily many points and that the following relations are therefore generally valid. One. If the clock in B is synchronous with the clock in A, then the clock in A is synchronous with the clock in B. Two. If the clock in A is synchronous with the clock in B, as well as with the clock in C, then the clock in B and C are also synchronous relative to each other. With the help of some physical thought experiments, we have thus laid down what is to be understood by synchronous clock address that are situated at different places and have obviously obtained there by a definition of synchronous and of time. The time of an event is the reading obtained simultaneously with the event from a clock address that is located by the place of the event and that for all time determination is in synchrony with a specified clock address. Based on experience, we have also postulated that the quantity to a b divided by t a prima minus t a equals c. of light in empty space. It is essential that we have defined time by means of clocks at rest in a system at rest. Because it belongs to the system at rest, we designate the time just defined as the time of the system at rest. Mm -hmm.